I always tell spouses, you know, when your children watch you hug each other, perhaps sometimes kiss each other, you know, I'm not talking of those kisses that belong to foreign languages, but I'm talking to, I'm talking about something like a peck, etc. If your children see you do that, it's a good thing. They would know how to treat their own spouses one day. They would know how to say words of love. Just today, someone told me, you know, I hear my, my dad tell me, I really, really love your mom. Subhanallah, amazing. Have we told that to our children? I really love your mother. Allahu Akbar. Have you thought of that? You know how it empowers the child? It strengthens, it gives security to the child. It makes them feel so full and so good. I really love your dad, subhanallah. And it comes from both. We always go to our children and complain to them about the other party. People make their children counselors when your children are not counselors. We'll go, you know, your dad, he's done this and he's very bad and he's ugly and he's doing this and I caught him doing that and that and that and so on. And the father comes, you know, your mother, she's not even worried about her weight and she's not worried about this. And that. why did you make your child a counselor? And for what? You're the one who gave your wife Subhanallah, all that burden that she's carrying, Allahu Akbar. She had the children. Whose children were they? Yours. And now you're complaining to the same children about a little millimeter this way and that way. Some cultures look at it differently. They say, well, there's more to love here, mashallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease. These type of things are not meant to be a point of distress. They're not meant to be something to distress the children, not at all. You need to make sure that those children come in with a good word. And when they hear it, they will learn to respect you. They'll smile at you. They'll blush when they see you. They've learned something good. But sadly, we only scream and yell in their presence. And that's what they learn.